It's like when you find your wife, you know, you can't explain. Like, I don't know what my role is going to be, but that's not the most important thing. The most important is that we win. Suvlaki, check. New haircut, check. Media day, check. check. So I want to ask you about the, the pre-game ritual that uh, I think it's something new for you. You know, everyone pushing around uh, someone. What do you think of it? I mean, I've, I've only played two games so far, so it's hard to say, but uh, no, I think once the season starts, I'm going to keep my ritual like it was you know, my whole career. I'm going to put my headphones on and, uh, you know, I'm an introvert. So pre-game, I, I need to have my own space and, uh, and, and moments. Now that you indeed played a couple of preseason games uh, with Olympiacos and you, you have an idea or two of how the team works, what do you like the most about the game of the team? I think our offense is uh, very smooth. It's an offense where everyone has the opportunity to you know, have the ball, feel the ball, get a feel for you know, the offense, uh, share it. I think that's, that's, that's the biggest thing that I've got from you know, training camp. And how do you feel you can best serve this kind of offense? By, by, I think by being myself. Uh, I think as I get more and more comfortable, I'm going to start being more and more aggressive, uh, looking at the rim more often. And as I, as I draw you know, the defense on me, I can, I can pass it to the, the open guys. Are there any parts of the game that you feel you need to change, modify perhaps? in order to better suit the system of Olympiacos, to be a better fit for the Olympiacos system? I think it's too early to say. It's too much of a small sample. But you know, uh, I'm able to do a lot of things on the court, so it shouldn't be that hard, I, I, I think. I mean, there's going to be uh, you know, uh, some, 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 some moments, of course, but I think I can adapt to pretty much every system. After 12 years in the NBA, living in the USA, okay, mostly in one place, of course, it was Orlando. How is the transition to another country, perhaps to a place of a different culture for you? Ch changing countries is, is never easy. That's my second time doing it. My, my first time was obviously from France to America, but I was in a different situation. I was, uh, I was very young. You know, me, me, me and my girlfriend at the time, we were 19. Uh, now we're 31, uh, we've got two kids, uh, so it's more than just us, you know, we, uh, we have to make sure, I have to make sure that my family is comfortable, uh, so we, we are actually all set now, he, my son has a school, uh, we found a house, we are driving around, uh, so we're getting more and more comfortable with, uh, with the place. You have uh, talked a couple of times about uh, how frustrating was about was for you the, your stint with the New York Knicks for several reasons. You didn't see, let's say, eye to eye with the coach. Uh, you didn't play much. Yeah. Was there a particular moment uh, when you thought, "That's it. I'm done with the NBA." Not necessarily with the Knicks. Yeah, maybe I mean, perhaps it, it, later with the Pistons. Yeah, uh, yeah. My my last two seasons were frustrating for sure. Because my first year with the Knicks was actually great. Um, you last... started in all of the games, if I'm not yeah, mistaken. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, I, bro I broke some some record, whatever. But uh, three point shooting. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, the last two years were tough because uh, the most frustrating part was not playing and, and, and knowing that uh, I'm, I'm not going to play regardless of, of you know uh, what's what's happening and you know not uh, being able to find the trade as well. Um, but you know, to be honest, it's 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 behind me, man. And, uh, Somehow it, it, it gave me the opportunity to come here. So, you know, I'm, I'm not the type of guy that, that looks behind me. I always look forward, uh, like ahead of me, sorry. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to be here and, and very pleased. So, all good. I have to make this follow up because I was curious about it. You said that you came to Olympiacos. Among the reasons that you joined Olympiacos was yes. because you wanted to enjoy yes. basketball yes. Yes. once more. Uh, reading this, I can't help but wonder, as I told you, when did you stop enjoying basketball? How, how did you come to a place where you stop enjoying basketball? Well, I think when, when, when the business of basketball t t t takes over, this is where it gets a little hard. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a true competitor. You know, I, w I was born in the family of, uh, you know, fighters. Uh, both of my parents were fighters, judo, and to me com competition or the true essence of competition is everything. Uh, you know, you give everything you have, you get what you deserve, you lose, you lose, he's better than you, that's the game. But, you know, I think uh, one of the dark side of the NBA is when the teams are, you know, losing on purpose to get the higher draft picks. And, the tanking. Uh, tanking, you know, it's, 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 it's real. And when you, like my last two months in Detroit, the organization was great, great. But you know, it was a young team that wasn't necessarily trying to win, and uh, you know, when you're my age, it's it's hard to go through that. You know, so I, I knew this is not what, what what I wanted for for my career. And this is why you turned down the offer from the Washington Wizards 
as you said, for similar reasons that you didn't want to, yeah. as you said, you didn't want to be a mentor to younger guys on a team that doesn't yeah, have I a specific compete, goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah you I want, want to compete. I want to, I want to play competitive basketball, meaningful games, big atmospheres with intensity. You know, going from Detroit to the Olympics, it gave me life, and I want to continue like this. You know. Did you have any offers from uh, any other teams in Europe? Oh, in Europe? Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Can you name any team? No, it's, I'd, I'd rather not. Okay, I will, let's put it differently. Why did you say no to, the, to these teams? I wanted to come here. Simple. I wanted to come here, so you know, we 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 listened. You know, you can be rude to people that that you know uh, talk to you and offer you something. Uh, we were open, but my priority was, was everything kind of came together because oh. it, it went really fast. You know, after, after the Olympics, uh, we had like what ten days where I went on vacation, and right after that is where everything started to you know come at once, and we had to you know listen to whatever, and uh, I, I mean everything happened so fast. What made Olympiakos such an appealing destination uh, for you? I mean, you have talked about the fans, you have talked, uh, even before you arrived at Olympiakos, you have said that you like the system, the altruism yes. the, of the offense. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, sometimes there's, there's things you can't explain. Uh, it's like when you find your wife, you know, you can't explain. But um, I, I've, I've always looked at Olympiakos like a club that, uh, that means something to me. I, I, I'm, I don't know why. 2010, when I was, you know, with the fans. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Watching your favorite guy, Papa Lucas. Uh, yeah, I, there's just there's just many things that made me want to come here. You know, uh, Moose. It's, it's like every every planet is aligned for me to come here. You know. You talked about the Olympic Games. Is it different, especially compared to last year? A bit liberating, perhaps, to not carry that weight of failure on your back ending the season because last year you were eliminated in the first phase yeah. in the World Cup and I was there. it was devastating for you guys yeah, 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 and now that you, you succeed, you, you lost to Team USA and uh, everyone loses to this USA team, you won the medal that you wanted to win. Mm. How, how much better is it for you to enter the season uh, having succeeded with the well, French national let team? Let me start by saying the medal that we won it was gold, it was not silver. Uh, you never want to be second, never. So, you know, even though we had a very rough summer last year, I, I, I never, like, I, I, I was never beat down because, uh, you know, those, those things happen. Basketball is, is a very hard sport. There's a lot of competitive teams and we didn't play the way we wanted to and we got what we deserved. So it was two games. Only, yeah, yeah. So we deserve to lose those games uh, because we didn't play well. That's basketball. It's important how you bounce back, how you work after that after a big di di uh, disappointment and that's what we did and uh, that's, that's always been my, my mojo. Do you think uh, that the pressure with Olympiacos, because there is pressure to win, to succeed here, yeah. is perhaps unlike anything you have ever experienced on a club level? On a club level, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, but that's also why I came here. You know, I, I, I want to be a part of something big, so, of, a, of, of a club that has a very high standards and and that's very demanding, that wants to lift trophies, you know, because I want that for myself too. So, so, so I came here for that. And there's also maybe, I don't know how you feel, I'm guessing, pressure from the expectations that fans have from you. There was this crazy welcome at the airport, everyone is expecting big yeah. things yeah. of you. Yeah. How are you handling this? I, I think you have to really differentiate those two because the, the, the love from the fans and, and the welcome was amazing, absolutely amazing. I, I, I couldn't believe it. But uh, you know, how I'm going to be on the court is going to be also very different. Uh, I, I'm not sure how it's going to go. I'm, I'm going to obviously you know, do everything I can to help the team win. Uh, like I don't know what my role is going to be, but that's not the most important thing. The most important is that we win. Uh, I want to help the team winning. And yeah, that's, that's all I'm thinking about, really. Is there any particular player or are there any particular players that you feel that you are reading, building a kind of rapport on the floor? It's only been two games. It's, it's, it's hard to yes. answer, but I, I think obviously uh, finding Sasha is going to be important. Uh, you know, he's a very efficient scorer, uh, so if, if the defense is, you know, focused on me a little bit and, and it opens up, you know, opportunities for others, you know, I think I have to make the right play and uh, we'll see where it leads. There's you, there's Teddy Osman at Panathinaikos, Furkan Korkmaz. Why do you think we see more and more NBA players moving to Europe? 
every year. There, there are some obvious reasons, but you can think of, but uh, as a former NBA player yourself, how do you explain this? Well, I think, first of all, uh, the world is starting to understand uh, how competitive FIBA basketball is. Uh, every summer they watch, you know, the Olympics, World Championships, and FIBA gets more and more credit. We have more and more Europeans dominating uh, the NBA, and guys are paying attention. And so they're more open than, than they were probably 10 years ago.